Hello, my name is Ben, and this is my version of the uh, Belt Predator. Now, I've gone for a DACA variant, if you will, uh, foregoing the flame templates purely for more shells downrange, on the hope that if I'm going to use it for something, I, I hope I'll take it out. And this will be specifically aiming for um, the softer infantry. Possibly the lighter vehicles. This is not to be utilised, uh, in my perception, in its current layout anyway, uh, for taking on heavier vehicles. Um, I've given that a little bit of capability for that, effectively, but not a lot. So, without further ado, um, the Bell Predator. Movement starting off at the 12 inch mark, uh, given its wounds of 11. This will decrease once it gets to the 5 wound mark where it will go down to a movement of 6 and when eventually you get to a 2 wound you'll be left with the 3 inch movement effectively um, degrading roughly every half um, and therefore getting progressively worse. In accordance with um, that logic it also works for the same for the blizzard skill starting off on the 3 plus going down to a 4 plus and a 5 plus um, as per what I've mentioned, this skill also happens with the attacks going from 3 to D3 to 1. But the weapon skill is obviously going to be a 6 plus, it's a, it's a big tank, it's not actually meant for hitting things. But great to drive into things to prevent overwatch, however, I would like to point that out. Um, strength 6, toughness 7, wounds 11, so not a hugely healthy vehicle. But if you don't want to have overwatch on something a bit more fragile, it's a great idea. Especially if they've got flamers. Uh, leadership of 8 and a 3 plus armor save. Now although you could essentially uh, fit it via different means, although I've got the heavy bolter line and the assault cannon line, you could effectively go for the flamestorm cannon which would be range of 8, heavy 6, and then you've got strength 6, minus 2 AP, 2 damage a pop, which is great for taking on your primaris actually come to think of it. This weapon hits its targets automatically. Um, you, but it does get a little bit pricey um, in addition to that if you wanted to you could attach um, two heavy flames on the sponsors of, as opposed to the heavy bolsters that I've done um, but that's up to you I mean I don't choose to get close with tanks I would rather get close with the actual infantry that are going to do the damage or a dreadnought but yes, you could take uh, Heavy Flamers, the range of 8, the Heavy 6 as mentioned, uh, Strength 5, minus 1 AP, 1 damage, and it will hit automatically. Although you can also attach a Hunter Killer, there's no apparent place to put this, um, because if you attach it here or here, you can't turn your turret. And I think it looks a bit stupid personally attached anywhere other than somewhere where you're not going to obstruct your own tank's movement. So I decided to throw mine onto the side. Now the Hunter Killing Missile is a range 48. For 5 points you might as well just throw it on and use it. You know, you don't got that many points, sorry, that many turns in the game anyway, so for 5 points crack on. Heavy 1. So I wouldn't use it necessarily the first time, but I would use it maybe the second. Uh, it's going to be a strength 8, AP minus 2, with d6 damage uh, and obviously this weapon can only be used once per game or battle storm bolters I think these are always worth taking personally now they're cheap as it gets um, and they're 24 inch range with a rapid 2 so you're not going to have a minus for actually moving and you're going to still be in strength 4 for no AP um, modifiers but damage 1 why not take it personally it's only a few points to me it's money well spent and points well spent as well. Uh, twin link assault cannons, that's what I went for in this variant because so I wanted to take on those infantry as mentioned. Um, now it's a heavy 12 for a twin assault cannon which is great personally uh, because it's strength 6 so if you're hitting your uh, bit more squishy races that are say toughness 3 for example they're going to be wounded on your 2s uh, and they're minus 1 to the AP so it kind of makes it that a bit more effective with one damage. 
Obviously you can switch out for the weapons I've mentioned, even if you don't like the layout I've got, that's fine. It's your hobby, not mine, but personally, yeah, twinning the assault cannons, heavy bolter, storm cannon, and to kill a missile. Personally, I think it works quite well, uh, but I do think that these predators need to be used in pairs. Um, overcharged engines. Uh, when you're rolling to advance, basically roll two dice. Brilliant. Pick the higher. Off you go. Uh, explodes on a 6 plus as per most things, not all things. Uh, and then they will suffer a D3 uh, wounds. Smoke launcher. Um, yeah. With its outlet um, loadout, I would probably turn one. I would go forward, pop smoke, wouldn't shoot anything. Second turn, I wouldn't use the uh, smoke launchers from then on, obviously. I don't think I could. But then I would be in range at that point for all the other weapons. Although it would always be in range for that on most tables. Um, these other weapons, yeah, make the most of them at your 24 inch range. Go to your maximum range for every effective thing where possible and try and stay out of the range of the more unpleasant weapons like your melters. But hey, you can't always help that. Um, now be aware that obviously there is a lovely set of uh, versions of other predators you can take but this is quite specifically unique to the Blood Angels with the Assault Cannons and the Heavy Bolters or the Flamers of both variants that I've mentioned but um, I would personally advise taking these in pairs if you're going to one of them can support the other but if you're going to use a vehicle or a unit why not use it to literally specialise in whatever you're going to take. So if you're going to go for infantry, go for the infantry. Don't necessarily go for the tanks. Let the anti-armor do that. And yeah, just make the most of your hobby. Enjoy it, and I uh, hope you have a good time. Goodbye.